You see this on my face? Okay, not cute. And I didn't even want to make videos, but you know what? HD Virant sent me their hat heat press to try out. And I picked up a hat from Walmart to put some heat transfer vinyl on and I can make videos. I think I'm gonna make something that says taps and roses cause I've been trying to go live on TikTok lately and that'd be kind of cute to wear. Why is this hat kind of giving like my mom going fishing? Love you mom. All right, so I think the first thing I need to do is actually make the heat transfer vinyl. So I do want to do something that says like taps and roses with like a cute little rose. I'm being super ambitious here. So I'm going to measure and see, hmm, just no more than four by like two, two and a half inches for the design. But let's see what's in this box. So of course it comes in the super cute box. Read the instructions before use. Definitely. Here's the instructions we need to read. All right, this is the bag that you're supposed to keep it in, keep the dust off of it. It's actually really nice. And then it came with the ironing mat. That's where you're gonna put the hat on and then iron on top of it. So here you just untouch this and the hat heat press is inside of it. All wrapped up nicely. So it's like this, and then you put... All right, I read the instructions for the most part and I got it down, okay? So the heat press comes in this, and it has a little latch on the side to keep it and store it. And then you can set it on here when it's not in use, because that's silicone. Now this plastic cover, you keep off. And you put this, and this has little elastic pieces on it. This is what you press the hat on. So you put that on, put the little elastic over the thing on both sides. And then you have a base to take the hat like this. And we're gonna put this in here. Okay, so it's gonna sit on your table like this. That way we can heat press like this. Make sense? Okay, I need to make a design real quick. Maybe I'll look on Creative Fabrica, free trial in the description. I've been a nasty girl, nasty girl, nasty girl. Okay, focus, Ryan. I was gonna do this in two different colors, but I was lazy and decided just to do one color because it's so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty this vinyl is. Gorgeous. Here's how that looks. Here's the heat press that's gonna heat press the hat. And on the top, you have the temperature settings. So I need to turn it on and you just click that. You can adjust it. I'm gonna do 310. I don't really remember what this vinyl is supposed to be. That should be good. And then press that gear icon and you can see how long I'll just leave it at the 20 seconds, even though I'm only going to do it for like 10 or 15. So I'm just going to let that heat up here on the stand. So the heat press is green. That means it's ready and the temperature stopped going up. It actually only took like a couple of seconds. I feel like maybe 30 seconds. So I'm going to set that to the side. Here we got my hat and it's nice and secure on this. I'm just gonna lamp roll my hat just to make sure there's nothing on it and get it as flat as possible on this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pre-press it and it says if you hold the power button for two seconds it started the countdown. You see that? So I'm just pre-pressing it to get any wrinkles and moisture out. And now it's done there. Perfect. If you just bring your vinyl over to the edge of each side and fold it in half, then you'll know where it goes. That should be about the middle. I'm gonna heat tape this so it doesn't go anywhere. doing that 
again because it only got part of it. I don't know if you're supposed to move it, but I am. Okay, so it's cold peel, so I'm gonna let that cool off. It feels pretty cool, so we'll see. If it starts to come up, you can always just put it back down. Okay, it's coming off of there just fine. I'm going really slow because I don't want it to peel up on the seam here. That looks pretty good, but I'm gonna use a piece of parchment paper and press it a little bit longer. You never wanna put any heat press or iron right over top of just bare heat transfer vinyl. It will most likely melt all over your iron. So I'm gonna heavy pressure this over the top. I'm not setting this timer. I'm just wanting to get it worked in to the seam. It would be better to have a hat that didn't have a seam on it, but I got these hats at Walmart and it was just available. Oh, that's not good. I did it too much, y'all. I did it too much. Now it's not all oh, well. I mean, I, I like it still, but I heated it up too much. I kind of love it though. Okay, so don't heat it up that much. If you're using this um, color changing or metallic, this vinyl, don't, don't heat it up that much. That was, don't do that. But I like it anyways, it's like vintage. Okay, I really like the hat. I did not get this design off Creative Fabrica, but I did get the rose. I made the design myself, just real quick on Illustrator. I obviously heat pressed that vinyl too long. That's why you should read instructions, y'all. I did not read the instructions and I pressed it too long and it took off the metallic part on it, but it's still cute and I'm still gonna wear it on my lives. Follow me in the description of this video. But do I like the HTV Ron hat heat press? Yeah, I think it's really easy to use. I like the curve of it and I like that it comes with this so that way you can easily press a hat. And I really like that you can store it away in here. You just wrap the cord and then you can put the cover that we were heat pressing on. It goes on here and then you can just close both sides. And there you go. It's all stored away and you don't have to have things all around the house. So I love it. Let me know in the comments below if you love my hat and hopefully we can connect. And thank you so much HTV Ron for the hat heat press. Of course, all the products I used and this heat press will be in the description of this video. Until next time, 